Hello, I'm Dave Kendall, and welcome to the Washington Golf Club. I had the opportunity about 13 years ago to introduce Dennis Walters had a function at the PGA Championship. I was so fortunate. I was the president of the Michigan PGA at the time that it was there, so you get to hang out and rub elbows, you know, with all these big shots. You know, it was really cool. Anyways, um, I met Dennis at that time, and I, I had the opportunity to go to the Fox Theater with my wife and watch Dennis Walters receive the PGA of America's highest award, the Distinguished Service Award. That was quite a night. Oh, boy. That was really something. Right at the top five. Since 1977, Dennis Walters has been encouraging audiences to reach for their dreams, strive for excellence, and do something positive with their lives they didn't think they could do. During his lifelong journey, he's traveled over 3 million miles and has made over 3,000 appearances. His remarkable comeback from an accident that left him paralyzed from the waist down earned him the prestigious Ben Hogan Award. In addition, he is the recipient of the PGA of America's Distinguished Service Award, its highest award, and the USGA's Bob Jones Award. I mean, those things are unbelievable. Presidents and Bob Hope and Arnold Palmer and that's who wins those kinds of awards. <clears throat> They're the highest awards of those organizations. His amazing career reached its pinnacle when he was inducted into the World Golf Hall of Fame in 2019. Wow, I don't know how many. Golf Hall of Famers we've had here at Washington, but uh, um, maybe, but I mean, we're just tickled to death. I've seen Dennis's show, I can speak from experience. I, I'm a better person for having seen it. It makes me feel grateful every day for the things that we have, and I think you'll all feel the same too. So, anyway, I like to turn things over to. One of my heroes, Dennis Walter. Thank you, for Dave. Thank you, Dave. Thank you very much, everybody. Thank you so much. I know that you guys and ladies want to go play golf. And I just wanted to say that I am very grateful to you, Dave, for having me here today. I've been looking forward to this. We were supposed to be here last year, but... Uh, Forget what stopped us from coming. <laughs> the Chinese. <laughs> uh, it was something like that. I, I, uh, anyhow, uh, I know you're raising money for the Folds of Honor today, which is a tremendous uh, cause, and I want to thank each and every person for contributing their money and their time to be here today. I personally would like to thank each person for spending time with us because we all know that time is your most valuable commodity. And we're going to make it worth your while to be here. We, we're hoping you'll leave here with a smile on your face and something to think about. I always try to go for the Jim Valvano theory. Jim Valvano was a basketball coach at North Carolina State and he gave a wonderful speech. He was dying of cancer at the ESPY Awards and he said if you can laugh cry and think in a day, that's a full day. So uh, that's what we're shooting for. Another thing I'm trying to do is I'm trying to prove with every swing I make that golf can be a game for everyone. Golf also is a game that teaches us a lot more than how to hit the ball long and straight. It teaches us valuable life lessons like perseverance, and honesty, how to get along with others, play by the rules, strive to improve, strive for excellence. 
But I would say the number one reason to get out here is this lovely golf course. And Dave and the staff and everybody out here is very, very friendly. They're nice. They're hospitable. The course is excellent. I would say the other component today is the money you're raising for a great cause. So golf is a game that it's not for everybody. But if it's for you, it's something special. And I come out here because the number one reason is it's a lot of fun. Every place we go, every single golfer we meet wants to hit the ball farther. You heard that lately, Dave. <laughs> Dave has given nine million golf lessons. <laughs> Probably not that far off. But. He once gave Harry Varden and Bob Jones. <laughs> <Jordan. laughs> not that far off. <laughs> yeah. I, I think Francis Weemus says signed up. <laughs> and old Tom Morris, he, he didn't want to make the trip to Michigan. He wanted the lesson. I've never had a crowd like this. <laughs> this is, without a doubt, the greatest crowd I have ever had. This kid's done, well, he's done about 10 shows with me. He is absolutely in disbelief that people would actually laugh at some of this. <laughs> never seen it before. Okay, so distance, long distance, not me. I'm the only man in America working on this shot. The short drive. <laughs> Yeah. And if you're gonna hit them short, at least hit them straight. <laughs> no one's ever laughed at that. Has any alcohol been served yet? <laughs> I'm just curious. Bring pros. Lynn Jansen in his prime. He hit a sand wedge for this shot. Me, I need a three iron. Very special three iron. <laughs> Now the beautiful thing about my three iron is I don't care if the wind's blowing. I played my college golf in Texas and I live in Jupiter, Florida. I was actually born in Neptune, now I live in Jupiter. And that's true. Okay, so, uh, wind's not going to bother me a bit because with this club I'm getting a low, a medium, and a high shot all at the same time. Now let's say you want to improve your golf. This is the real essence of golf. You want to be better today or tomorrow than you are today. That's what keeps Dave and all the PGA professionals in business. Regardless of what you heard, if you shoot lower scores, you'll have more fun. <laughs> when I was 12 years old, this old codger came up to me and he said, son, you want to learn how to play golf? I go, darn good, I do. He says, well, learn to break 80. You'll have more fun. <laughs> so, here we go. We're going low, we're going medium, going high. Now, Everybody wants to improve, but you don't have time. You got to go to school. You got to work. You got kids. You got grandkids. Okay, get a three iron CD. Okay. Now you're going to you're going to hit a lot of balls. You're going to hit three balls at one time. So your game will improve. You'll become practicing a lot sooner. All right, here we go. Low, medium, and high. <laughs> His wife gave me this club. I call it the COVID club because it was came in handy so much during the pandemic. Okay, remember, full swing indoors with a real golf ball. Here we go. COVID club. I made a golf club out of one of my fishing rods. Yeah. Oh. A guy like me that sounded like a great idea, I took a nice driver head, put it on the end of the fishing rod, everything seemed great. Everything was great except for this, shaft flex. Oh. Oh. Yeah. 
Now I've caught a lot of fish with this, so it, we know for a fact that this is good for fishing. Would it be good for golf? Let's find out. Tiger. I've seen him hit a lot of great shots off this very same tee. So, guess what? We call this the Tiger Tee. How'd you like to carry six of these in your pocket? <laughs> <laughs> well, here we go. Big tee, big plus. Tiger Tee. Yeah. I'd like to demonstrate my version of long putting. <laughs> but first, I have to have my caddy take a look at this and give me a read. What do you think? <laughs> left to right? Eight goes left to right. <laughs> How about a second opinion? <laughs> How about it, man? What do you think? Right to left. There you go. <laughs> built right in by Titleist, and I stake my reputation on this, every single golfer out here can use this feature that's built right in. Long distance, baby, long distance. <laughs> I like this crowd. This is my best crowd. I would never harm this crowd. I want to take you guys. You guys want to go to uh, Oakhurst tomorrow? <laughs> yeah. yeah. Um, okay, here we go. So, it's going to look like it's coming your way because I'm going to start here, turn it upside down backwards, and go that way. Yeah. Jeez. <laughs> For real. Okay. I like to travel when I play golf. Sometimes I don't like to take the big touring pro bag. You can imagine what the airlines say when they see us coming. Anyhow, when I want to travel and not take the bag and play golf, all I do is take it in. Another great idea you can get right here at Washington. It's called the Traveling Club and it folds up its name, small suitcase or backpack. Comes in a wood model, comes in an iron model. We suggest you borrow a putter when you get to Florida or Arizona or wherever you're going on your vacation. This actually looks like an old radiator hose from a car. Where'd you get it? Not from a uh, Mustang in the parking lot over there. <laughs> well done, sir. Well played. <laughs> if your Mustang fails to start, I'm certain as I'm sitting in this seat for a major donation to the Brett Stewart Retirement Fund, he can get you going. All right, here we go. Don't laugh, I ain't hit it yet. Yeah. That's the can you can save for tonight. 
Okay, this is our last shot. Test. This is the machine gun shot. Let me see that again. That's pretty close. We're going to hit four in a row in rapid fire. Test. I'll take it. All right, here we go. I've got one more thing I'd like to say. If there's something in your life you would like to do, no matter how impossible it may seem, if, if you are willing to work hard, persevere, hang in there, you can achieve success, your dreams, anything at all that you want to do, because really, stop and think about it, almost anything is possible. So have a great rest of the day. Enjoy your golf. And I certainly hope our paths cross again. But we will see you tonight. Go. You can clap, it won't bother Yeah! You. One! One more time, Dave Kenny will clap. Okay, ready? Come on, I really want you to swing hard. Ready? Go, bombs. Oh, yeah. Beautiful, beautiful, beautiful. 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 All right, come on, hit a few more. Come on. Prepare for launch. Go. Nice. Very nice. Excellent. How good was that? That was great. There you go. Hit another one. Come on, guys. Nice and hard. Go. Beautiful. 